Welcome back to the channel and thank you for being here. Just to say, this video is proudly sponsored by FS Academy and they've got a new bundle called Zero to Hero which offer five training packs in one package. That is IFR, VFR, Jetliner, Navigator and Commander. Priced at $69.99, this represents roughly around 40% discount from the full lineup with a total of 60 training missions produced by a real world airline captain. All the links for FS Academy will be in the description below. Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. And in this video today, I'm going to check out the new upscaling that is possible in the Crystal Light. Now this is beta software. But I thought this would be interesting since I know many of you are upgrading from a Riva G2 and perhaps you haven't got enough money to upgrade your GPU as well. So right now I am running at full native resolution over a very heavy resource intensive area which is Toronto with photogrammetry and basically running pretty much ultra settings as well just to give my computer a really good workout. And as I say, this is native resolution, so the crystal light looks phenomenal. I've even got the GTN 750 installed just to test out what that looks like, but I don't need to be reminded, but I've got it there anyway, so I can really compare. And we're getting around 35 frames per second-ish, which uh, you know drops to around 33, 34, 35, at times it's 37, so around that sort of ballpark. So with the upscaling method, the idea is, is that the base resolution is 2160, by 2160 which is the same as the Riva G2 and then it gets upscaled keep in mind that these resolutions well they're actually a lot higher in the sim the spheric lens means you are accounting for barrel distortion and all that kind of thing so you know you're talking of extremely high resolutions once you've accounted for that and you know even with the 4090 as you can see I'm barely getting any more than about 34 35 frames per second in this scenario if I'm not recording I'm hovering around 40 frames per second but this gives us a good sort of idea. Same weather, same scenario. And if you look on the screen now, this is me updating my firmware. And I just wanted to point this out because the first time I did it, it actually failed on me. And I was really panicking. But I must admit, the Pimax software is better than it used to be. And I was able to retry, re-plug in the USB of the headset. And it actually did work really well. So don't panic if that happens to you. And if you look at the Pimax Play software, this is what you'll see once it gets released. There is a new option for 90 hertz upscale mode. That's what we're going to try. So just keep this in mind, what we're getting in the moment. 36 frames per second, native resolution looks amazing. Now we're going to switch over to upscale mode and let's see how it feels. See you in a moment. Okay, so welcome back. We're now using the upscaling mode at 90 hertz and there's no doubt about it there's a massive difference in performance we're now getting a nice steady sort of 55 ish frames per second whether before in this view it was around 32 frames per second that's pretty damn substantial and I reckon if I wasn't recording I'd be reliably hitting 60 65 frames per second which yeah, that's about a 90% or more upgrade in performance. So that's great, especially as at the moment this is still in beta, or beta, however you want to call it. No doubt I'll get lots of hate in the comments for saying it the wrong way, but that's how we say it in the UK, okay? So that's what I'm going to say. However, what is it like in terms of the visual fidelity? Have I lost a lot of that clarity in the headset? Um. Well, yes, basically I have, and that's kind of what I expected. You can't gain frames without losing it somewhere else, that's just the way it is. However, I will say it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I can still read that GTN 750. I can almost even read the text right at the bottom of the frequency for the COM1. So I can obviously read 11820, but even there, that's CYTZTWR for tower. If I just zoom in, CYTZ. So I actually could read that little text at the bottom there. That's not bad going, really, considering we are upscaling. And look at the performance we're getting. This is very, very good. The only thing is, though, this isn't as sharp as the Reverb G2 at full native resolution. So keep that in mind. 
but you do get the benefit of the QLED panel, the better field of view, and all the rest of it. So I think this is a really great feature of this headset, and I hope, I hope this is also available for the standard crystal. I pretty much would say it will be, but I can't say for certain yet, unless there's a note in the video right now, because I'll ask Pimax about it. But uh, hopefully this will be available for both crystals, and even the crystal super, because that would be quite cool. But overall, the performance is excellent, and I think I might use this for when I'm doing flights like this, when I'm touring close to the ground, and then when I really need that clarity, I might use the standard 90 hertz mode. Now there is another method of doing it, which I tend to use, and that is keeping the normal 90 hertz mode, and then overriding the resolution, the OpenXR toolkit, and using a resolution of 3500 by 4142 in TAA mode. That's another great way of doing it, and that way you get better visuals than this, but you still hit 45 frames per second. So remember that, okay? I've mentioned it in my crystal light setup guide as well. That's a third way of doing it. And then maybe as a fourth way of doing it, you could run full native resolution and then use DLSS in MSFS with some FSR sharpening in the OpenXR toolkit. So that's another way of doing it. But of all the methods, this produces the best performance using it through the Pimax Play software. Pretty damn cool. Right, I think that'll do for this video today. I hope that's useful and informative, as Mark from the Sim Hanger would say. And by the way, I'll have a link to his channel in the description below. Best YouTube channel for flight simulation, period. And if you are thinking of getting a Crystal Light, I do have an affiliate link. I would really appreciate it if you'd use it. I think there's a little discount code as well. Doesn't give you much off, but uh, as I say, every little helps. I think this is an absolute winner for Pimax. It provides another option to counteract the performance that you need to enjoy this headset. And I'm just thinking, what would this be like if I was running at 60 hertz? But yeah, lots of options to get the most out of your crystal. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. And thanks for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.